Christopher's are here somewhere. Or this Highland in the back there. They've got to be here somewhere. Check it there. Hey everyone, my name is Dennis Stein, the commissioner of PXW. As you can see, I got one half of the tag team champions, Lovebug, and uh, this is episode six, Lovebug. Episode six, that's a good number. What happened from one through five? Ah, don't worry about it, go ahead. What do you mean, what happened? No, no, go ahead, just uh, do your thing. Do you have something to say to me? Not at all. That's Not what all. I thought. Heck of a job, heck of a job. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having so me. So speaking of a job, the, 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 the Brits, Wyndham, James Winthrop, and uh, Andrew Bates, they're looking for the Lucha Billies. I don't think they're ever gonna find them. Well, when you take two idiots, which ones? Well, obviously the Brits, okay. who are both dumb and blind as bats. And you take skillful Mexican hillbillies, a.k.a. the Lucha Billies, they will outsmart those two Brits all the time. Well, you know, I had a heck of a time with the Brits on one of the, one of the shows. I don't even remember how well, many there were. But. Well, obviously, when you have two pompous, you know, I won't even say it because... Thank I, you. This, this is a family show. But you know show, what right? I was going to say. Right. You know, th those guys uh, just made me sick. All right, so anyway, we're going to start off the action with a, a, a Chikara match. Um, what do you think about Chikara? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I've been a part of Chikara before, and, and those guys are unbelievable. Anywhere they go, they always, always have a great match. And I think the fans here at PXW are really going to enjoy the Chikara match. I agree. I like Chikara, too, so let's take a look. So there you go, first contest in this match, paper, rock, scissors. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, as a means of determining who's going to start a tag match before, Dennis. But it looks like Hydra is the winner of the mat of the rock, paper, scissors, and he'll start things off against Fire Ant for the colony. And I've never seen anyone have to get that psyched up before a match. We'll see if it pays off if you got the adrenaline running. I had never seen Hydra, so let's see what he can do. Hydra and Fire Ant, right? This is Hydra in the green, Fire Ant's in the red and gold. Are you sure? I'm positive. All right, good. Both relative newcomers. That's what I pay you for to get to to be to know what you're doing. Well, it's about time you got a professional announcer down here, rather than the bums you've been doing this show with. It's about time you got somebody in this chair who has an idea of what's going on because I mean you're here but that doesn't really help much back to the ring Hydra able to wiggle out of the chicken wing situation now into a side headlock on fire ant fire ant reverses that around back into the chicken wing now side headlock from fire ant Hydra, of course, the mythical beast, you cut off his head to grow back. So we'll see if he has uh, multiple lives as he starts to take some punishment in this match, if he has the multiple power. As he works into a full Nelson now on Fire Ant, Fire Ant doesn't seem too impressed with it as Hydra locks it in again. Fire Ant, again, casually breaks the hold as apparently Hydra just doesn't have the power in those massive pipes of his 
to lock in the full mills. Yeah, I tend to agree with you there. It doesn't look like he was doing too much. Fire is going to call for a test of strength. Lock up both hands. They seem pretty even now as Fire steps behind to get some additional leverage. He's going to drive Hydra down to the mat. Great flexibility being shown by Hydra right here. He's, he's basically in a bridge standing on his head. It looks like Hydra's just, stuck. I, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. He's flexing there as Fire helps him out a little bit by pulling the leg out from under him. Hydra looked like a turtle on the back of the shell there for a couple minutes. A single shoot there on one leg. Float over and now a nice roll. Look at that. There you go. Fire in. Lots of movement in the ring here. Fireman's carry takeover drops Hydra squarely on his back as now Fire Ant finally getting some to a higher impact maneuver against this. I mean, it's kind of hard to call somebody smaller than Fire Ant, but Hydra is now called wow, out. Look at that. Heads, went for a head scissor, got held up, and is now in like a sideways airplane spin. Fire Ranch is still going. That's about 20 revolutions. Hydra's not going to have the slightest idea where he is. And he goes right into a side slam. Both wrestlers have got to be dizzy after that. I don't know how effective that was, but I, I, I don't know. Well, considering Hydra's going to the wrong corner, I think it has some effect. Actually, Fire Ant goes into the wrong corner too, and Hydra promptly chops Icarus in the chest instead. And there's a chop from Fire Ant.
All right. All right, Lovebug, what do you say, Chikara? That was a great match. What an unbelievable match. I mean, like, like I said before, anywhere those guys go, they always put on a great match. It's always strong. I, you know what? My hat's off to them guys. They're a bunch of competitors. Excellent, excellent match. I totally agree, and uh, I, as long as the fans seem to like it, I like it. All the guys in the back seem to like it. I think we're going to keep uh, Chikara around as long as we can. I, I think that's an excellent idea. I think they bring something special to the PXW. Right.